I'm a Bengals decal to put on his truck there. So everybody on the road, no matter his route, will know. Right, Kevin? Right, and well, hopefully we need him some clear routes too. Yeah, that's right. Those are hard to come by out there this evening because <laughs> yeah. we had this quick, intense burst of snow move right over the core of the tri-state right in time for the evening rush. Things are starting to look better in respects to what's falling from the sky because notice a lot of those darker purples beginning to shift their way off towards the south and east. You can see what happened there. I mean, it was the perfect storm, right? Literally, so to speak here. We had the highest, greatest greatest volume of uh, people out on the road there heading north this evening. Heaviest snowfall rates moving in, temperatures dropping into the teens. That's a perfect setup for just a nightmare setup on the roads, and that's what we had at least probably about an hour ago. With the snow beginning to let down in intensity, come down in intensity, things are looking better. So it's just a few flakes now out on the west side of Cincinnati from Chevy and Dale High out towards Sailor Park and then back in the direction of the airport. Now, as you head east, this was one of the areas Harder hit through parts of Claremont County here from Williamsburg up towards Mount Repose, Goshen, also out in the direction of Amelia and Batavia. There's still some snow flying up through the southern parts of Warren and Butler counties. Some flurries and snow showers here from Loveland to Mainville, Mason to Westchester, but the accumulating snows have come to an end for a lot of the folks to our north, albeit there's still some snow showers up towards Trenton and Springboro, Franklin over towards Waynesville at the moment. In the southeast Indiana, drier air taking over, so the snow wrapping up for a lot of you, but heading down 71 towards Sparta, maybe through parts of Owen County, the snow is on the increase. And in fact, over the next several hours, this is where the snow will be the most impactful in terms of it actually falling and accumulating will be across the parts of northern Kentucky. So watch out. Peach Grove, Butler, Kenton, Piner, Crittenden, on down towards Dry Ridge and Williamstown. This will build in around Falmouth, too. Your snow will pick up. And then from areas from Georgetown back towards Maysville through parts of Adams counties, I do expect a slight uptick in snow in these areas as well. Here's what's happening right now. We've got Arctic air building in along an Arctic cold front. Some energy that is going to fuel a major East Coast blizzard. That's what's cranking out the snow around here. Once the snow lets up, it's the bitter cold settling in tonight. Look at these temperatures. You're already dropping into the teens. We're down to 19 here in Cincinnati. As cold as 16 up there in Franklin County out towards Brookville. So expect road conditions to stay a little dicey here, probably at least early evening before crews can get out there and really get them nice and clear for us. Look at that north wind starting to crank up at 17. Temperatures will drop through the teens. We'll get down to between 10 and 15 by the time we get closer to midnight. Most of the snow will come to an end by about 8. Skies will begin to clear overnight, and that's the reason why I think lows tonight are headed down into the single digits. We'll drop down to around 4, but wind chills likely to get to zero, probably even below tonight. So take it easy if you're out late tonight and early tomorrow morning. 25, that's it for an afternoon high tomorrow. Here's a look at your planner. Wind chills likely to start below zero in the morning, and it will only feel like it's in the teens most of tomorrow. Here's your seven day forecast. All right, down to four for a low tonight with that fresh coating of snow out there. But then we rebound, Ashley. Sunday, we're up to 38. 40s and then 50s still on the table early next week. Unfortunately, some wet weather is also expected in here Tuesday into Wednesday. All right, those 50s looking mighty nice there, Kevin. Thanks so much. More travel trouble for airlines this weekend.